Hey, what's up guys? Austin here with OCD Mobile Detailing. I um, wanted to kind of loop you in on the trailer setup that we've got going. I think I've pretty much got it set up for the most part right now um, and all the equipment, so I wanted to kind of show you um, what it looks like. So I'll flip this around and we'll start. All right. <clears throat> so we've got the trailer set up here. We got our 125 gallon tank. Should be more than enough for what I'm going to be doing. Go straight here. We got our rigid, rigid portable vacuum. <clears throat> Going to be for getting in, getting those cars clean. Um, I got a little caddy here at Harbor Freight. Um, this is going to be for my interior detail setup. So I've got all my brushes, got a little hose, leather brush, um, got some scrub pads in there, drill pads, air fresheners, squeegees, seat belt cleaners, you name it, it's in there. Next, we're going to go ahead. I've got this bag. It's got all of our accessories for the rigid. So it's got attachments, obviously the long hose, all that. <clears throat> I've got my bottle holder here. Uh, so I bought this set of bottles on Amazon. Um, build hold of my stuff. I've got the gloves. <clears throat> I've got my interior quick detailer. I've got my gas tank. Keep the generator full. Do have my generator here so what we got is a um what is this one called a gen max gm 3200i so i think this is 2800 running watts should be plenty for everything that i have um, i did get a tack life extension cord reel 50 foot this has three prongs on the end so i can hook up what i need to Obviously, the other hand ends going into my generator. <clears throat> kind of take you around here. Showed you guys this in my last video, my pump setup. So we've got the pump. I'm going to add a splitter here so I can run it off the side and fill a bucket. Got the Bauer pressure washer. <clears throat> in here, I've got... Actually, my steamer, the McCulloch steamer, um, this is going to be for getting in there and getting all of the sticky stuff out, you know, stuff that's real tough to get out. <clears throat> I did buy a, a reel for a pressure washer. Um, this is by Power Horse. And I bought the Power Horse 50 foot here, um, bolted straight into the trailer. Um, this one's a manual reel. It was really hard to find the automatic reel for the uh, pressure washer setup there. But this is heavy duty. This will actually hold up to 150 feet of hose. <clears throat> um, so that's, I've got 50 foot now. I think 50 foot is plenty. If I need more, I can add it. Um, I did get a Fortress air compressor. This is a 6 gallon, 175 PSI. It's got two outlets I can use. So that's um, that. I've got that onto the side of the trailer. I've got mounted up a 50 foot uh, automatic reel here, a 50 foot of hose. Um, so I can bring this out, go out as far as I need to, and then um, attract it when I'm done. <clears throat> I forget what brand this one is. Um, I'll have to look it up and let you guys know. I've got my three buckets here, my exterior wash, you know, I've got some brushes, some tire applicators in there, tornado, air tool with the buck with the wash thing on the bottom for you know interior stains, things like that. <clears throat> uh, I do have another one of those that is just for air does not have the uh let's see if i can find it there it is i've got the vortex here much lighter smaller so this i can just blow out carpets real easily that's what that's for 
Um, so yeah, guys, this is the trailer setup. This is what I'm going to have for now. Um, you know, more stuff might come along. My ultimate goal is going to be to get a van. You know, it's just a lot easier. I can fit into places, smaller um, driveways, businesses. Um, and then I can have all this inside in case it rains. I'm in Florida. Um, so it rains a lot here just on and off sporadically. <clears throat> Did want to show you guys something else that I got. This is the Adams Polishes Air Cannon. Um, this thing's actually, I tested it out already. It's really strong. Um, but I'm going to be using spotless water so I can go ahead and air dry stuff off if I need to. You know, blow out cracks, crevices, headlights, taillights, mirrors, stuff like that. So that's going to go on the trailer somewhere. I got to figure out. I think all I'm going to do is put, um, a, make a 2x4 like box for it. So uh, it won't roll around. But anyways, I'll show you guys that. Extra. Got my extra stuff here. Degreasers, shampoos, and... Some stuff inside too. Um, towels, mitts, um, got my floor protectors. So yeah, this is the trailer and I'm actually off to hold my first um, detail today. So we'll catch up with you guys there.